Hi folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to run uh, two instances of the same app in two simulators. So, uh, the first thing I want to explain is if we start up a simulator, so I'm going to start up an iPhone SE. This is a very simple app, so we won't worry about the app. So I'm now starting up the uh, SE. So, here we go, the SE is starting up. Now, from Xcode, if I wanted to start up another simulator, so if I chose something else here, like, for example, if I chose the 5S, okay, see, the SE now has our app. Now, if I try it on the 5S, you'll see that it's going to open it up in place of the SE. So I'm only allowed to run one simulator from Xcode itself, regardless of if I change the image. But if you think about it, I've now installed the app in two places. I have installed the app on the SE a moment ago, and now I'm installing the app on the 5S. Now, there is a little trick we can do to get them both to run at the same time. So, let's leave the 5S open and let's go to the Finder. If I'm on the Finder, I'm going to search for the simulator. Now, you're going to locate it by pressing this Mac. And you'll see we have the simulator here. If I double click this, it's going to do the same thing that Xcode does and it's going to load the same one again. So I can only get one copy, so I have to do a trick. The trick is the following. First, I'll control click and choose get info. And I'm going to copy the location of the simulator or its path. And so I'm going to close this, and now I'm going to open up Terminal. Now, in Terminal, I can CD to the location of the simulator. So if I do LS, you'll see the simulator's there. Now, I already have one copy of the simulator running, so I need to get another copy to run. The way we do that is we write open minus N. Minus N means allow multiple copies, and we're going to open the simulator. Uh, sorry, simulator.app. When we do that, a second simulator opens, so you can now see I have one, two simulators. But we're going to have one more problem. The simulator will always try and boot the most recently booted simulator, so Technically, we're trying to boot two copies of the SE. I can't do that, so this simulator didn't boot, but there is something I can do. I can tell this simulator to boot something else. Well, where else did we put the image? I ran it on the 5S, but I also ran it on the SE. And you'll see now that the ST is booting up. Because they're two separate um because they're two separate images, I'm allowed to run them both. So now you're gonna see something interesting though. It's gonna stop right here, and I'm the one that has to trigger the app. But look, the app is there, it's a simple app. So now I have two instances of the same app that are executing at the same time. Just a small thing to remember. If you do any print commands or any sort of debugging, you're only going to be debugging the one that's running from Xcode. Not the one that's running from the open command. Okay, I hope that helps. Let me know. Take care. Bye-bye.